I want to teach you to take control of movie clips that are on your stage by using your keyboard. I want you to be, make both the WASD keys and the arrow keys work to control the arrow on the keyboard. You're going to need to create this file. It's very simple. I have one movie clip in my library that I've created. I have four directions that the arrow is pointing and I just drew lines here. It should be something anybody can create. There's no artistic talent here. And I've given it named labels. So in frame one, it's labeled up. In frame 10, it's labeled down. 20 is right and 30 is left. Now you don't need to remember the frame numbers. And that's why I use labels because I can just program the arrow to change directions by name. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to actually bring that arrow that you create to the stage. Now without any code, it's just going to flip through the different directions. And I could have stopped that by using stop statements in the movie clip, but I really want to do everything from one spot. It's a good habit to get into doing everything in one frame when you can. So in the actions layer of frame one, the first thing you need to do is you need to actually stop that movie clip. So we're going to find it. You'll see that I've named it arrow underscore MC. And it's important to use the underscore MC because that turns on code hinting. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to tell it to stop. Open and close parentheses and a semicolon. Now when I test it, it just sits there. This is where you need to be before you start doing any code. So go ahead and get that done and then move on to the next movie.